How to Draw a Venn Diagram A Venn diagram is a type of graphic organizer that uses overlapping circles to illustrate logical relationships. Typically, Venn diagrams are employed mathematically to illustrate principles of inclusion, exclusion, and intersection between data sets. However, Venn diagrams can also be adapted to reflect these types' relationships for a host of other topics and projects. Use these instructions to guide your construction and use of Venn diagrams in various applications. Part 1 Preparing to Draw a Venn Diagram 1. Identify the type of problem you are attempting to solve. Frequently, Venn diagrams are used to solve mathematical word problems, such as, 20 students out of 40 are taking algebra, and 13 out of 40 are taking creative writing. If 5 students are in both classes, how many are in neither class? Venn diagrams, however, are versatile and can be used to reflect data for a variety of purposes, such as outlining a comparison and contrast paper for English class. Weighing out pros and cons of a complex decision. Classifying data into various subsets. 2. Assessing how complex your diagram needs to be. Referring to the example above, a Venn diagram can be as simple as a pair of overlapping circles. Yet, Venn diagrams can also be complex a collection of variously sized overlapping circles used to create classifications. Depending on the complexity of your problem and the comparisons being performed, it may be a good idea to draft a few versions of your diagram with a pen or pencil before committing yourself to a design. 3. Choose a drawing tool to employ. Once you've determined the purpose and complexity of your diagram, decide on the correct tool. For the example from the first step, since there are only two circles and the data required is minimal, the best tool is probably a pencil or pen. If presentation matters, a compass can be employed to ensure that the circles are precise or, if the template will be reused, design software might be the best option. Part 2 Drawing a Venn Diagram by Hand 1. Determine the correct sizing for your diagram. This really depends on the problem being solved. If your problem is similar to the word problem from the prior section, since there is only one number that goes in each part, a relatively small diagram, with circles roughly the size of the circumference of a tennis ball, would be more than enough space. When using a Venn diagram non, mathematically, it is best to err on the side of too much room rather than too little. So if you are using your diagram to brainstorm for an English essay, you might want to build a diagram that takes up most of a sheet of notebook paper. 2. Draw free hand If slight irregularity of the circles is not an issue, simply hold your writing tool in your hand at a 45-degree angle and depending on the desired size, make a circular motion with your wrist or elbow while the tip of the pen or pencil is on the paper surface. Repeat as needed. 3. Trace First find a guide. A roll of masking tape, a cookie tin, a coffee can, or some other flat, bottomed, circular container is ideal. Place it on your sheet of paper being sure to leave room for additional circles as needed. Take your drawing implement and place the tip on the paper at the edge of the guide, then move the tip along the perimeter of the object's bottom. Move the guide and repeat as needed. 4. Freehand a perfect circle Hold your drawing tool at a 45-degree angle and put your hand on the paper firmly enough that you can pivot on the bone at the heel of your hand, but lightly enough that the paper can be rotated. Put the tip of your writing tool on the paper so that it will draw, but not stop the paper from moving. While keeping your hand still, slowly rotate paper. You must keep the point of the pencil in the same place. Continue turning the sheet until the circle is complete. 
5. Use a compass. If you find yourself frequently drawing Venn diagrams, this may be the best method to choose. There are different types of compasses available, some made for drafting blueprints, others for completing math homework. In either case, they work by creating a pivot point affixed to the paper, with an adjustable arm that guides a pencil tip across the paper in a circular shape. Part 3 Drawing a Venn Diagram Using a Computer 1. Decide what program is best for your purpose. Nearly every standard operating system installation comes with a paint program with basic drawing tools. For a standard Venn diagram, this is usually sufficient. However, any graphic design software can be employed, provided it has a tool specifically for drawing circles. To access paint from a Windows operating system, Mouse over to the Windows icon in the lower left side of your computer screen. Click on the icon and select All Programs from the bottom of the pop-up menu. Click on the Accessories folder to display its contents. Double, click on Paint and wait for it to open. 2. Use the Circle Tool While you could still freehand a circle using paint, Design software offers the unique advantage of being able to create symmetrical designs by use of special commands. To use the circle tool, open Paint and locate the circle drawing tool within the Shapes command tab at the top of the screen. Click on the circle tool and small, cross-shaped cursor will appear on the white canvas under the command tabs. Press and hold the left mouse button, then drag the cursor a few inches down creating what looks like a black line. While still holding the left mouse button, now drag the cursor roughly the same distance to the right. You've just created a circle. Practice a few times to get the hang of it. 3. Draw a circle To draw a circle, click on the File command at the top left hand corner of the screen, then click on New. With the new file open, follow the instructions from step 2. Before doing this, you may wish to change the color and thickness of the lines by using the settings provided in the command tabs. 4. Select, Copy, Cut, and Paste For simpler Venn diagrams, once you've drawn a circle in the size you need for your diagram, rather than attempt to draw a second circle of equal size, it's easier and more precise to use the Select, Copy, Cut, and Paste tools. Click on the Circle tool in the Shapes command tab, then click on the Fill command located on the right of the tab, ensuring that it is set to No Fill. Draw a circle in the size you need. You can use the box that appears around the circle to adjust the circumference and height as needed. Locate the Select command tab at the top of the screen. Click on the down arrow below the word Select. A drop down menu will appear. Select Transparent Selection from the drop down menu commands. This ensures that when you copy, cut, and paste your circles onto one another, only the outline will overlap. Click on the Select tool, then press and hold the left mouse button just a few millimeters to the left and above the top left side of your circle. While still holding the left mouse, drag the cursor down to just below the bottom of the circle and then an equal distance to the right, enclosing the circle in a box made of dotted lines. Press Ctrl plus C while the circle is in the box to copy it. Next, press Ctrl plus V to paste a duplicate copy of your circle into the top left hand side of your canvas. Mouse over to the duplicate copy and, using the cursor, hold down the left, mouse button and drag the duplicate over to the original. Adjust the overlap as needed. 5. Print a copy or add text. While you can always print your diagram and fill it in by hand, design programs have a text function that will add text boxes to your diagram as needed. 6. Reusing your template. Once you've created a basic Venn diagram, you can save the file to your desktop and reuse it as much as you like. Part 4 Adding Data to a Venn Diagram 
1. Label each circle. This requires knowing what you intend to compare. Using the mathematical word problem from section 1, in order to solve the problem, we would label one circle algebra and the other would be labeled creative writing. Other more complex stains will require multiple labels, one for each circle. 2. Provide the data. For the same word problem, we are told that five students are in both classes, so the number 5 would be listed in the overlapping area between the circles, while the number 13 would go in the creative writing circle and 20 in the algebra circle. A non-mathematical use for a Venn diagram might be creating a visual comparison to catalog the similarities and differences between two breeds of dog or comparing hamburgers from two different restaurants. In these cases, the circles would be named for the two dogs or restaurants, respectively, with a list of common attributes in the overlapping area, and a list of differences in the circles themselves. 3. Interpret your results. The word problem mentioned above asks the reader to solve for a specific value, but not all Venn diagrams require the reader to provide an exact answer. Often, the purpose of the diagram might be to organize thoughts on a complex topic or help with decision making. Depending on what type of comparison is being made, the results and how to interpret them will vary. Tips In order to make the most out of a Venn diagram, make sure that the things being compared have significant similar and divergent elements. Too different and it will be difficult to find overlapping attributes, too similar, there won't be enough contrasting data to interpret. Want to compare more than two things? Venn diagrams can easily add a third circle when needed, however, too much complexity may require re-thinking the diagram's design. It is possible, however, to successfully use Venn diagrams for higher-order complex thinking and classification exercises.